All right, guys, it is uh, Monday. I'll give you an update on the 55. Uh, so today I've been sanding on the firewall and the jams and all that uh, to do a color sand and buff because I'm going to end up color sanding and buffing everything. All the jams underneath the trunk, inside doors, everything's going to be color sanding and buff. But uh, lots and lots of work ahead of my way. But uh, now I've got the main whole upper area of the firewall pretty much sanded. Uh, now I've still got to go to uh, 3,000 and 5,000. This is to 2,500 now. And uh, I haven't done the other side like this area on the other side yet. But uh, I've got it this side and I've got the A pillar and all this forward jam area. I've even got the hinge faces and the hinges themselves. I didn't do all the way out on the hinges, you know, because you're not going to see any of that. Uh, you see a little bit of this one, I think, on the top when the doors open. But uh, anyway, the, the whole thing will end up being sanded and buffed. But this is just where I've started so far. I wanted to get the firewall done and uh, the forward jam area and uh, that way I can go ahead and get the body on the chassis and because uh, I'm really looking forward to that and uh, it, it's like driving me crazy I'm ready to get that thing set down on there and see it with them black wheels on it you know but uh, I've got half the dash sanded I need to do it uh, I'm gonna wait until I get the body on and uh, that one climb up in there I don't like climbing up in here with the there's not much support in the center area of this body, so I, I'm gonna wait until I get the the body on the on the chassis in there. But uh, I run you all through the bed liner the other day in the video. I'm still still happy with it. It turned out really freaking awesome. It dried to a nice hard coating, so now it'll wash easy. And uh, I wanted to touch on something here that uh, I had a guy stop by. It was. I can't remember if it was the first of the summer or during the winter, but then I had this part of the car was painted black. This up here was the yellow primer. Uh, so you could really see my two-tone line here, and I don't think I've ever explained why I two-toned it the way I did. Uh, but this guy had to tell me that I two-toned my 55 wrong, uh, like I'm a freaking idiot. Like everybody that comes by here has to treat me like an idiot. And uh, I guess they think since you're working in your garage, you're, you're an idiot and you don't do it for a living or something. I don't know. but. So this is why I two-toned the car the way I did. I brought it down here and I brought it over just underneath the flange of this bracket right here. And uh, I'm wishing now that I would have, because I used that 3M vinyl stripe tape, you know, to two-tone it or uh, tape it off. I wish I'd have went around that because it would have looked better instead of just coming up here and kicking up. But uh, I made my own custom uh, pieces that go in here for the bumper to bolt on. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit tighter in this area than a factory bumper, so you really won't see down in here anyway. Uh, but had I have run that two-tone line straight down like everybody else does, and I have done many times before on all the other 55s I've painted, um, with the mirrors under the car, you'd see a two-tone hard line right there. So now as it stands, everything's black. The whole roll under is black. And I just think that looks badass. Now I don't have these these bolts tight yet but they're bolting on this panel here and uh, that's what I made uh, I, I made my own trunk extensions and uh, they drop down and that's what that panel bolts to but that way you don't see up inside the quarters and I think it just it, it's gonna look awesome I think but, uh, anyway that's why I two-toned it the way I did now I'll show you that pinion snubber cover I am glad I made that. Now I went with the urethane bump stop. And uh, I did that because I had that one here and it's a rectangle and it's more fitting for the shape of the pinion snubber housing than just a round cone shaped rubber bump stop or pinion snubber, whatever you want to call it. Now I do realize that that urethane bushing is going to be a harder, metal, harder material than that factory rubber cone shaped thing. So. You know, if that pinion snubber ever, pinion or the rear end ever hits that, it's going to make a thud in the car. And uh, I don't really care. It's all about looks at this point. But I just think it looks better. I would prefer black. I just happen to have red here, so I used it. It is something that I can change later if I need to. Uh, then I'm not going to go in there to Summit and order black ones and then have to pay shipping to get them here. There's no need. I can use that right now. You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm... I'm glad I built that cover and got it on there because I missed one whole inside edge with the spray and liner up inside that pinion snubber housing. So 
with the cover on there it hides it so <laughs> I'm glad I made that it, uh, it it amazes me the amount of people that will stop by here and, and you know some are friends and some sometimes it's people I don't know who they are and uh, they've got to put in their two cents and they've got to basically try to tell you how to build your car or what to what to use or how to do something and they don't even have the experience themselves but uh, Hell, just a few weeks ago, I had a guy trying to tell me how to price metal work on metal replacement on a car. I've only been doing that since I was 16 years old, so I don't know why he felt the need to tell me how to price something. I think I've pretty much got that part of it figured out. <laughs> and he, you know, when I tried to explain it to him that uh, I don't flat rate metal work on cars like rust repair, that's a good way to lose money if you're a business owner. Uh, you do not flat rate rust repair on car old cars i'm telling you because when you you if you do that you know when you cut into that that's a can of worms i charge it hourly that's how people are charged when i do it you can flat rate that shit all you want but i'm not going to do it i'm going to get paid for my work so anyway uh firewall sanded and i wanted to run you all through these covers i don't know that i've ever showed a video of these now these are still raw. I haven't uh, done any metal or uh, body work to them yet and primed them or nothing. Uh, but these will end up getting painted black as well and they'll also be color sanded and buffed. Uh, but they bolt on here. And they cover these uh, body mount covers. That way you don't see all this hideousness here and down inside there where you can't really get paint down in there, you know. And uh, I've got rubber welting that goes around this. Uh, it's kind of thin walled rubber welting. It'll go all the way around this. That'll keep it from scratching the paint and vibrating on it. But uh, anyway, I did uh, pipe caps on there and I stepped them, you know, large to small. And I've got it notched out there for the uh, factory little bracket for the inner fender. So anyway, that's, that's gonna be a really neat uh, piece once it's painted and put on there. But uh, Anyway, if I ever have to take the body back off the frame, I can unbolt that and lift it off there, you know. No big deal. But anyway, guys, I guess I'll get back at it. I've got a long way to go. I mean, it has been hours just doing this. And uh, i still got to do this side. and I at least want to get the firewall all, all finished up and buttoned up and, and buffed. And then I pretty much go ahead and put the body on. But anyway, I'm going to get back at it, guys.